Oh yeah, it's one of those days. I was up like at uh, five o'clock this morning. Aubrey was over here at six, and we plan was to go gold mining. Um, check out a different location, but I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I always say I always forget something. But do you know what the fuck I forgot? <sighs> Let's have a look. Everything's packed up in the back of the truck. So fail of the day goes to me, drove all the way out here and forgot my suction hose. Fuck me. Oh well, find something else to do. All that way to forget the suction hose. They say everything happens for a reason. For what reason that is, I don't know, but we're gonna work on the solar generator today. Remember those solar panels I bought, we're gonna test them out with that battery on the ground. I got the, uh, solar charger and we're gonna try to play with the drift camera some more i think um as long as you don't do the wireless try to connect it to your phone i think it might not be buggy but we're gonna have to find that out Well, it was sunny out earlier, but my sun disappeared. I got both solar panels hooked up over there and just running test on the voltage. 13.28. Looks like 0.7 amps too. Coming in from this low ambient light. We're coming in at 18 volts a piece. As far as the current goes, I can't get reading because it was sunny out earlier. Now the storm's running in. Anyways, it is pre motherfucking beer time. And what I mean by pre beer, beer time is that Trevor a while ago got me this Malt 40 ghetto beer that'll make you end up pissing your pants in the back alley. So let's try this POS beer out. Holy shit, shut her the fuck down. Surprisingly enough, <laughs> it's not that bad. Ooh. That's a big beer, 8%, that'll fuck you up real fast. Drink this bottle, I'll be passed out in the alley pissing my pants. Changed my mind, this stuff is shit. Yeah, I think that stuff could fuck you up pretty good. Now, let's get this thing figured out. It's the following day. We got some good sun. So we're going to put the solar panels back out. So I just got one solar panel hooked up. 3.8 amps. 3.7. Holy shit, it's warm out there today. I was supposed to head out, do some gold mining, but uh, Trevor fucking bailed. 
and uh, a little bit pissed off over that that's for sure not very happy but I always got something to do and today we're gonna continue working on the solar generator After searching around, I did get some connectors, which I was looking for. Found them in the automotive store, which I should have looked at the first place. I went to Princess Auto, and I went to Home Depot, and I found them in the auto store. And since it's sunny outside, I also got the solar panels going. Solar panels are at 18 volts. 5.1 amps, looks like the battery's charged. Running this cooler. Got my water and a couple of beers in there. Also got this to install in the panel as well. This is a 30 amp breaker. That's supposed to go between the solar panels and the solar charger. right here we got a bit of a voltage drop going on I'm charging my phone and it's saying 11.5 volts there and 12.4 on the machine at 0.4 amps and what I did with this unit is that I got an inline fuse there that go to the battery come up to the master disconnect switch go to here to I got four 10 amp fuses in there and then I disconnected the power wire from the cigarette lighter plug-in because I ran that one separate to its own fuse because I wanted it to be totally separate from the rest of the whole block because I don't want to be drawing current all off from the same source so I have that part separate so then the two LED lights which will be connected to probably side lights and roof lights right in the middle. I'm not sure I'm gonna do about these switches yet. And some people are probably not gonna like the way I'm doing this. Um, this is probably gonna be mounted pretty much right on top of the battery or pretty close to it. And I put this on the outside because I want ease of service in case if I ever blow a fuse, I can just pull that out change out the fuse quickly i could have put this in behind and it would have made it cleaner but it also would have made it harder to change out the fuses so i think this is going to work best for myself and i think it's motherfucking beer time Four o'clock in the afternoon, it's hot out and it's time to shut her down with this ice cold session IPA. Oh, Ooh, got the hiccups. That hit the spot all right. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Next part of the project is I got to mount the um, solar control panel. Solar panels are outside, otherwise I would have did that before the video was over. They're just charging that battery and running the cooler because I want to see how it's going to work out. Actually pretty impressed. Uh, the battery is probably less than half charge. When I put it out there, hooked up to two solar panels. And within three hours, plus running that cooler, it was fully charged. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Uh, I think I could probably get away 
with running the one solar panel but I'm gonna make a stand for the second one just in case I need the extra power which I don't think I will we're gonna have to figure that out but uh, one or two more videos hopefully and the uh, solar generator project will be finished anyways if you guys have any questions or comments post them below otherwise I want to thank you guys for watching <sighs> nothing like an IPA